Rockets advanced to second round, taking Thunder's best shot. Finally, there was just one way past the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Rockets had tried to shot their way to the second round, but that was getting them a ticket back to Oklahoma City. There was one way. With the game on the line, they had to win in the way that had long seemed beyond them. They had to take the Thunder offense and squeeze the life from it, allowing Russell Westbrook only bombs he could not long make until the Rockets battled their way to a 105-99 win, and a 4-1 first-round triumph. In the final eight minutes, the Thunder made just three of 18 shots, with Westbrook no longer able to carry them and James Harden throwing himself into the teeth of the Oklahoma City defense until he could drop free throws to the win. Westbrook who finished with 47 points, 11 rebounds and 9 assists, made just 2 of 12 shots in the fourth quarter. Harden finished the night with 34 points, going 15 of 16 from the line and scoring 13 points in the fourth quarter, all in the final 6-16. The Rockets will begin the Western Conference semifinals on Monday either against the San Antonio Spurs or Memphis Grizzlies. They will be happy not to see any more of the Thunder, and especially Westbrook. They had turned the game around on Tuesday when he left the floor for less than two minutes to start the fourth quarter. That was enough for the Rockets to surge to the lead. But they had shown little to indicate they could hold a lead once the OKC starters returned. Westbrook scored or set up dunks on the first three trips down the floor after Westbrook was back in the game as the Thunder closed two within one. But minutes later, when Harden returned, he drove into the Thunder defense that had shut down the Rockets most of the night, finishing or marching to the foul line. Harden scored seven of the next nine Rockets points, with Neen making two of four free throws to send the game to the final three minutes with the Rockets holding a nine-point lead. By then, Westbrook seemed to have emptied his tank. He missed his first seven shots of the fourth quarter. Finally, he finished a drive with 2.15 remaining, as the Rockets searched for the knockout punch. Eric Gordon missed a three. James Harden missed a three. Neen even missed a three. It did not matter. The Thunder could not put the ball in the basket until it was too late as the Rockets' defense took over the game and closed out the series. The Rockets had gotten off to their usual sluggish start, shooting for a few minutes as if they enjoyed the pre-game $1 beers. Whether sparked by Rockets owner Leslie Alexander strolling from his seat for a word with lead official Bill Kennedy, an Eric Godon tomahawk of a slam all over Jeremy Grant or Westbrook's three-and-a-half minute stint on the bench, they took off in the second quarter as they have often through the past three games of the series. Little had changed from the previous games. The Rockets still struggled to get good looks from the three-point line and missed most of the threes they did get in the first half, going 4 of 18 from deep. The Thunder allowed Harden to turn toward the lane on high screens then had Steven Adams jump in his path, allowing time for Andre Robertson to come from behind. Harden made 4 of 14 shots in the half. The Rockets, however, tightened their defense in the second quarter and got another significant lift from their bench, with Lou Williams, Gordon and Neen combining for 22 second quarter points. Trailing by 3 with 5 and a half minutes left in the first half. The Rockets outscored the Thunder 15-8 the rest of the half, taking their first lead and pushing it to 51-44. Stranger than overcoming all they had to in the first half, the Rockets foul away to lead by 11 in the third quarter while still misfiring. That was not a formula built to last. As badly as they shot while taking that lead, it would just get worse. The defense, however would keep getting better until it owned the game and the win.